and welcome back to the Osborne Wood Products Builder Studio. My name is Tim and um, today we are going to be doing a, uh, a cornhole game build. Um, but this is a little bit different in that, um, you know, we, we just went online, got the uh, regulation um, cornhole set instructions and, and that's pretty much what we're using. Um, and all of that, but um, most of the cornhole sets that you've seen are builder's grade plywood with two by four frames and you know, they're uh, painted with the, the team colors and <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. And that's fine, that's good. Um, very useful, very utilitarian. Um, so what we're doing today is a little bit different in that we're going to try and um, up it just a notch or two and and make a really beautiful set of uh, uh, cornhole boards. And so the idea is to use some some really nice woods um, that will show through and you'll see the beautiful grain. We're actually using um, some Osborne Wood Products inlays they're oh gosh you know I, I meant to put a mic on these and and see uh what the micrometer said but these are like a 16th inch thick or less okay um but they're very sturdy um and absolutely gorgeous and so what we're going to do is um incorporate these we've got some oak plywood we're using alder skirting material um this would be like uh, like you would get in a, a table skirt um, from Osborne Wood Products. And so we're going to do a little bit of staining. We're going to do a lot of clear coating. And hopefully this will be a set that when you get it out of your garage, your neighbors are like, what in the world? That is gorgeous. And um, so we just thought, you know, cold winter months, you're inside, you're looking for projects. Um, what better way to do that than to think about warm weather and summertime and get prepared for that um, by making a nice set of cornhole boards. So we've, we've already cut just about all of our parts. Um, most of that is done. And um, we're gonna take a minute to go ahead back and let you see some of that and then we'll get busy with assembling what we have. Okay, so um, yeah, for right now, our legs, feet are about as far as we can take them. We're gonna set those aside. Um, we're gonna take our inlays and just lay those aside. And I think the next thing is uh, 
we could do this whole thing with nails or staples or you know that kind of thing um, here again let's just go ahead and take the time make it really nice make it really sturdy and um, use some pocket holes okay so uh, let's pocket hole all this stuff and we'll put our frame together with that and um, that would keep our um, our tops a little bit more uh, nice and un <laughs> uh, you know uh, normally you would just like screw down through the the edge of your plywood um, but that would look really bad so uh, if we pocket hole from the, the underside um, we can kind of hide all of that stuff so that's the plan here we go Okay, so it's time to admit my mistake. Um, <laughs> I actually got going and um, these holes should actually be in this board because this board goes here. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. So, um, you can't see anything from the outside. So I'm just gonna drill some holes in this that do not line up with these and go with it. And it'll be fine. Um, but, yeah, I should have thought that through better before I got, got excited and started drilling. But sometimes that's the way it is. Um, so, all right, let's keep going with these. Let's go ahead and uh, figure out our, our holes for the tops here. Um, the plans have us measuring nine inches down from the top. Um, I'm just gonna scribe the, the, the hole and then uh, pre-drill for my jigsaw blade to go down through and then I'm just gonna cut it freehand with jigsaw. Plug up my orbital finish sander and um, just smooth up these edges on the outside, and um, and then we'll kind of see we'll, we'll we'll be able to see better um, exactly what we need to do on the inside, and uh, we'll do a little bit of hand sanding there, and um, I'll probably route these just a uh, like a quarter inch round over um, inside and outside. Um, just to smooth that edge. Um, I know, you know, my set at home, <laughs> that, that's usually where I pick it up at, <laughs> you know, and, and carry it around. So uh, you really want that to be pretty smooth and um, you don't want it to catch your, your uh, bags. <laughs> I could just take my pad and um, work it with my hand. Uh, I'll probably get a little bit more pressure and a little bit better um, 
results, if I put it on something hard, uh, that hard surface is going to help me some. So uh, I actually just dug around and, and grabbed a, an old piece of um, PVC green line and um, I'm just going to stick that to it and just start working that around and uh, it'll take a little while but we'll get it nice. So let's talk about these inlays for just a minute. Um, these inlays that we're using, and there's actually two um, different ones. So we're going to do one board with um, one set, and then uh, the other board will have a slightly different uh, variant. But um, these are 3 8 inch wide, and um, so I, I literally, I, I have a... a a 3 8 inch straight bit there and um, I figured out where I wanted my inlay and I measured from the outermost point of the, the bit to the outermost you know the outer edge of my the circle on my router and so then I I marked and I offset the um, the level that I'm using for a straight edge um, by that distance. So I've already set my depth uh, to the depth of the, the, the thickness of the uh, inlays. And all I'm going to do is just uh, route uh, a straight line. And I think I'll probably um, route one direction and then actually go back this is exact <laughs> three eight so uh i, I did a, a little test and I, I literally um had to um take a mallet and just tap just lightly tap that into the the three eighth inch route so if i can you know come forward and then backwards maybe it'll take just a tiny 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 bit more uh, if I go backwards, and, um, and that may actually help me to slip down into that. Okay, so there's some stain on our, uh, our triangles here, and um, we actually, if you can see that, we actually put stain around on this edge too. And I think when we route everything, route the outside edge and the hole, uh, that should look pretty cool right there. And so the next step would be to put in our or inlays. So all I did to prep really is just um, took a, a compressed air hose and just blew those out real good and make sure there wasn't any dust in there. Um, and I'm just going to take some some wood glue. I'm going to try and put a bead and then um, 
probably smooth it out with my finger is my plan and um, kind of just mash it out and um, so that I, I get a real nice good coverage side to side and you know uh, and then we'll just work our um, our inlays down in there and I'm hoping that we can just that the fit is tight enough that we can just get them in there and just leave it okay so I'm gonna make sure that one edge is in there yeah actually <laughs> that's working so all I'm doing I'm just uh, just take a uh, A little metal ruler or a straight edge and just kind of pressing it down in there just gonna go over it one more time that looks so sharp wow that just stands out like crazy um okay so we'll do this guy i would maybe just finish in that just ever so slightly just to you know make sure it's I think I could leave this really. I, my my fear is, you know, if I if I finish sand onto that um, stain, am I gonna lighten up that stain? And I, I probably would. So I could do two things. I could either um, just like hand sand, just take get take a block with some sandpaper on it, and just real gently, real carefully um, hand sand over that, um, just to make sure it's perfectly smooth, and get uh, get our. Uh, our framework put on there on the bottom I think they're gonna be fine they're gonna be ready to to be worked with um, let's go ahead and drill this guy Okay guys, we are just about done. We uh, cut that angle and it ended up being 13 degrees on our saw, on our <laughs> box. Uh, but that should be really close to uh, kind of a, a regulation um, angle. Um, at least to get you started, you know, you could do your test piece that way and, um, and double check it, but um, uh, that should be really close. So, yeah, we're about done. Um, we're ready for a clear coat, and um, we'll get that done, and we'll put some pictures on uh, of the finished product, and we'll get some wing nuts on there, right? And there you have it. Um, I think they turned out <laughs> really nice looking. Clear coat always does so much for naked wood. Uh, it just clear coat completely changes it. Brings out the grain, um, brings out those rich you know colors and and everything. And um, so yeah, I always love clear coat on on stuff. Um, that's gonna make it look really nice. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the build and. Um, yeah, check out um, OsborneWoodProducts.com for your inlays and for your skirting board and um, 
all that good stuff. And uh, stay tuned. We'll do some more projects soon. Thanks.